What's up guys, welcome back to a new video and in this video I will show you our brand new system or battle pass system. We also made that the system is very easy to customize. You can add as many rewards as you want. You can add also custom rewards like items, a trigger or even uh, VFX effects. The battle pass itself is accessible on our Patreon. So if you want to buy the system you can check it out. Link is in the description. In that pack you will receive uh, all the assets. You will also receive this Photoshop file with all the uh, images so you can export them, change them and customize them to your preference. And we also have this icon Photoshop file so you can place uh, different icons or weapons on here. I also exported the frames in a PNG file so you can um, place items on right here if you don't have Photoshop or something. Uh, and then the last thing that we added is the three different codes. It's a quite complex system, but we try to make it as user-friendly as possible. And also, that it's very easy to set up. But first of all, we go through all the functions that this Battle Pass has. And then I will show you the setup. Let's dive into it. Okay, so the first thing that you can already see is that we have two different types of rewards. We have the premium one and the free. You can unlock the premium ones by clicking on this button. And then you need to press the correct pin. You can make this pin very unique, but I made it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If I enter this pin, I unlocked the premium reward and now I can claim this uh, reward. So if I claim it, you can see that I get a custom pop-up claimed reward. So if I click on this one, you will see that I get the reward. I can't claim those because it's still locked. So what I will do is I will um, use this test button that will increase my level. So if I click on it, you see I get a level up pop up. And then if I open the battle pass again, you can see that I can claim new items. So let's claim those one. Let's claim this one. And so on. Right now I added six different rewards. But you can add as many rewards as possible. So let's say you want to have 50 rewards, then you can do that. Then you have uh, 10 different pages. Um, and also this uh, progress bar will be fully custom. Uh, right now I just, just placed a black square with a white bar. Tomorrow we will drop our um, level system and this will be connected to here. If you want that you can also remove it if you want. That one will be fully for free. But the first thing that you need to do is you need to uh, add a folder that I have right here. So I have the folder with all the images. You need to make sure you add this folder to your Fortnite project. You can go to the zip folder that you bought on our Patreon, copy it, and go to your Fortnite projects. In your Fortnite project, you can go to plugins and then content, and then you paste the folder right here. If you did that, it will appear right here. And you can see all the images inside of it. It's possible that there are some errors. But to solve this, just select all the images, right click and you click on confirm textures. It will be somewhere over here, but I already did this, so I don't see it anymore. If you did that, all the errors will be gone. And you can add the uh, different verse files. So just open the verse explorer and add three different verse files. You do this by clicking on this. Add new verse project. And you can name it something. And you can add the three files that you receive to your project. So you need to add this one, this one, and this one. They are all unique and they are all very important. If you did that, you can click on build first code. Now if you go to here, you will see that two devices popped up. You can see that we have the manager and this is this controls like everything. But it also controls the um, level system. But yeah, the level system is not out yet. So you can um, skip this for now. But this will be explained in the other video. And another thing to mention is, let's say you don't want to use a level system. You can simply add this button to something that you want, let's say if people kill enough enemies 
the button will trigger and because the button trigger they unlock new rewards or in a certain stage let's say you have a tycoon map and uh, people uh, need to unlock the second floor and then they unlock a new reward so you can be creative with it you don't need to use the level system the whole battle pass is persistable if you go to the battle pass uh, device you can click on here and add a manager you need to add the player spawners in your map you need to add a button to open the battle pass and a button to increase the level this is like yeah this is a test button and then we have the most important ones is the free battle pass item list and the premium battle pass item list so like you can see you can add as many elements as you want and these elements have uh, a lot of features so you can already see that we have like the item type we can uh, do an item a trigger or a hat or none an item is like a gun or uh, something else a trigger is yeah, a trigger device so let's say you want to um, connect this to a uh, mutator zone or something then you can do that you can be creative with this one and then the last one is a hat and this is like a vfx effect so basically um, if you claim this reward you will be able to equip a uh, vfx so let's say a cosmetic a uh, back bling or an, uh, a hat the item requires an item granter so let's search for that and this item granter needs to be set on keep all and you can add a list of items i will add two items for now so let's say a uh, pistol and also like a rifle can add the item granter and I want to get the uh, rifle instead of the pistol for this reward so instead of putting zero I will put one because item one is this one you can see like index zero index one so if I, if I put one over here you will get this rifle and if I put zero over here you will get this pistol the reason why we do this is um now you can have one item granter for let's say 50 different guns and this will reduce a lot of memory and then the last thing we need to do is we need to add the image this is like the free reward so i will add this icon for some reason the images are not updating anymore so you just need to refresh this device just click on another one click on the device again and if you open it right now you will see that the image is over here um, and then if you want to add like a trigger, it's the same thing. Click on trigger and just add a trigger device and add the image. And if you want to add a uh, hat, and the only thing you need is you need to have a VFX power up. And a button. So we have the button and the pop-up vfx and now when you claim this reward this button will be enabled for that player so if he clicks that button he will pick up the power up and this can be a cosmetic okay now let's go to the pop-ups those are just simple hot message devices so to do that just enter a message device and what you need to do is you need to make a unique widget blueprint so let's say you make this test you need to open it up, put the canvas panel inside of it, add the image or uh, something that you want. You can add multiple images, you can do whatever you want. Um, make Let's say you want to make the same one as I did, then you just place this over here. You choose a text, put it, put it right here. Change the zit order to 1 so it's on top of the white image and place the anchor to the right center because this is the closest anchor to my elements right here. Um, and then what you can do is you can open the message device, set it to triggering player. My time was on 1.5 seconds. You can add the sound if you want. 
Then for the uh, placement, choose custom and choose center right. And then drag the widgets in here. Also make sure that you're using a layer that is not used yet. But you can use the same layer for all the battle pass pop-ups. You can turn off the priority. For intro animation, choose slide from right and also slide from right for the outro. Um, that should be it. Yep. And then you can make unique widget blueprints for each pop-up. And then you can simply add them right here. Just like this. The next thing we have is the battle pass image settings. Change the image over here. And you can change the size of that image also over here if you want. And these are the presets that I used for the video. So I have like the background. This is this one. This is the size that I used. We have the locked and the locked open. This is the size. We have the um, battle pass progress bar. For now I used... So the black background and a yellow front color. But you can change this to a, a texture if you want. This is the size. If you don't like this progress bar, you can simply set this to zero. We have the uh, unlock premium image. This is this one. This is the size. The arrows. And then the last setting we have is the um, pin to activate premium. So you can change this pin to something that you want. Okay, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions about this system, please place them below this video or ask them in our Discord server. Link down below. Have a nice day, guys. Bye.